Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent. So for today, we got a lot of packs to open up. We did a lot of the online grinding, not offline, but online. We pretty much finished up the Battle Royale program. So we got a lot of diamonds and stuff just to open up and show from that. And we'll go over that program too a little bit. Also finished up pretty much the event. So I guess we'll skim through that really quick also. And then we'll go on and open up all the packs that we end up earning. So let's just start off with the main thing. And that was the Battle Royale program. So I wanted to work on this because it's pretty much expiring soon. So you kind of want to get this done. There's some nice rewards that you can end up getting. I got a lot of XP just from this program. So we're at 100 points. This is all I really care for. I don't know if like the, the sun is beaming in my eye, but... This is all I really care for is to get 100 points. Uh, we still have like seven days. I'm probably not going to keep playing to the 150 and get pretty much 30 other packs. I don't really care for that. But yeah, you know, you do get some good rewards here. There's these gold packs that have some World Baseball Classic cards. They're core series. There's these diamonds that are also core series. And then we got a good amount of packs. Like I said, we got a good amount of XP. I think just from Battle Royale. We had the XP bonus spin like two times. So pretty much how I ended up completing this. You have your BR missions. We got the 4,000 PXP in one run. We got the 30 hits in one run. We got this 15,000 PXP total, you know, so that, you know, definitely takes a few games to end up getting. We didn't get this one, which we are close enough where if we probably play like three or four more games, we would get it, but I also don't want to play any more BR. We played, okay, we played a good amount these last couple of days. And then 20 home runs gets you five and 30 strikeouts get you five. Um, also, I did have a nine win run. I should mention that. So that got us plus 10, which was pretty nice. So I'm not going to show like gameplay for that because when it comes to BR, I only really want to show gameplay if it's for like a 12 win reward. But I did get the nine win and our reward for that was Max Freed. Our 12 win would have been Mike Trout, which would have been really nice for the no money spent and that kind of grind right there. But after nine wins, we ended up losing. So that kind of sucked right there. Now, as far as like exclusive missions, you always have the option to draft these guys. So we did two of them. We did the chain card and Ramirez card, and we pretty much did two for each one of these guys. So I don't know how many games I played in total, but I'll check in a second. But the BR program, a lot of rewards here, a lot of XP, good amount of packs. And this is where you're going to see a majority of the packs that we end up opening up. So really quick, I guess we can just let me go to lifetime stuff. So I'll tell you guys how many games we ended up playing for that. So Battle Royale, we played 29 games and we were 21 and eight. So, you know, we were able to get the 100 points. I feel like fairly, fairly quickly. You know, obviously, if you're playing, you might play more games or less games. The nine win run really helped because that saved us playing another 10 games pretty much. But yeah, you know, that's how long it took us 29 games to get that done. And then really quick, we'll go over events. But I did record like the events gameplay and stuff like that. So I will show that off at some point. But we did get 25 wins. We got this Gary Sheffield. We got Vinny Castilla. They're both, I would say, solid cards. You know, there's definitely better options out there, but they're still solid cards that are usable. I am just going to keep these cards. I could have sold them when I got them, which I got them yesterday, but I could have sold them and probably made like 10K, but I'm just going to hold on to these cards and just go on from there. Kind of the same thing with BR. I'm not continuing. You know, we have pretty much 10 days, I think, to just take a break from the online stuff being events and Battle Royale. We're, we're going to take that break right there and just chill. But we do got to do some offline stuff too through throughout this week. Now, really quick, XP reward path. So we got a lot of these spins the last two days, pretty much. So I'm not going to show you like every single animation. But what I can do is just show you a screenshot. So off the top of my head, when I'm editing this, I'll put it on screen. But off the top of my head... We did get another boss pack, so that was a big dub. We got a round the world pack, two choice pack, and then two times we got the 7,500 stubs, which honestly, I'm not even mad about getting those, and I think that's it. You know, if I did get it a fifth time, it might have been show packs. It might have been the stubs again too, but that's where a few of these packs are also going to come from, just to throw that out. And then Team Affinity, 
you know, just playing events and battle royale, we made a lot of progress just from getting like the team build mission. So we've still only played one team affinity mini season. And the reason that I wanted to do events and battle royale and try to grind that out this weekend and pretty much today was so I can see what I have to do going into probably and hopefully a last mini season for team affinity. You know, I only want to play one more. So, you know, I think as far as like what we planned on doing, we accomplished that right now we're at 79% as our low and that's the NL West. And then our high is the AL East. We're at 96%. So again, you know, just taking a look at this, you know, whether you're playing online or offline, you want to keep an eye on these team build missions. You know, I'll, I'll go to the NL West because I think I have a lot of teams right here that were really close. But you want to keep an eye on these because like right here, the Diamondbacks were at 1919, the Dodgers 2381, the Padres 2480. That's pretty much 15K team affinity points that we're going to get in, you know, a few games, depending on what we end up playing, whether it's mini seasons or online. We're probably not playing anything else online, but still, you guys get the point. You know, you want to try to build your teams where you're adding players that can pretty much finish off this parallel XP grind and the events and battle royale helped a lot without really thinking about it. You know, we just for battle royale, you got to draft whoever is available, but events, you know, there's, there's kind of restrictions, but you still can pick, you know, kind of teams and players that you want. So yeah, I feel like we did pretty good this weekend with that kind of grind. And we'll probably play one more mini season. We'll try to pace it out throughout this week because I feel like we played so much online this weekend that we're trying to rest a little bit with the offline and just a, you know, regular grind this week. But a lot of progress, I would say, with Team Affinity. Now we'll go on to our packs. Majority of it is from Battle Royale, even events too. You know, that's pretty much where all of these came from. So we're going to have 26 show packs, four balling as a habit packs. We got a silver pack. We got this burritos bat skin. That is in the show market if you guys want to pick that up. And then we got some charisma packs here. We got the BR pack, the boss pack, the around the world two pack, and then some more BR packs at the end. So let's start off with this right here. Now, I will say um, this right here is, you know, it might be an investment opportunity, to be honest, if you really want, because this is going to go out of rotation. You know, you won't be able to pack it, I'm assuming. And it's a free bat right now. So honestly, if you really wanted to, you can buy a lot of these at like, it's I, I guess it's like 1,031 stubs right now. And over time, because you won't be able to get this bat skin anymore, that price should go up to like 2K, maybe 3K. And then you can sell it off. It's a, it's a more of a long-term investment, but it's something that has worked in the past. So now we got this silver pack right here. We got Kyle Farmer, nothing crazy. And then I guess we just go right to right to the show packs. So we do got 26 of them. A diamond would be nice. You know, we have a good amount of packs here. I feel like maybe we're due for another one. We got Valdez right there. So nothing crazy. But I feel like I feel like with 26 packs, you know, that's enough to maybe hit a diamond. We'll have to see. We're getting Tommy Edmond. So a few golds early on might mean the packs are a little bit hot. You know, so I think that's a that's a good way to start it off. Another gold, Marcus Semyon. So the goals, you know, I feel like this is the most goals we've ever pulled so far in the pack opening. So I don't know. I feel like that's a good sign to maybe get a diamond. We'll have to see what we can get in these other 19 right here. We're not even getting like the gold unis like we normally do. We normally get a lot of those. But still, you know, these all are going to add up to some extra stubs. We did, uh, I should mention, we did sell the Edwin Diaz we packed the other day because he was going for like 92k. And that was a lot of stubs for a car that is probably going to move towards free agency for the collections. And we probably don't need them for the Mets. So how much is this? Oh, nice, nice 1700 right there. But yeah, we probably won't need them for the collection for the Mets. I think the roster update is on like the 20th or the 21st. I don't know which date, but pretty much around that time, we'll, we'll finish up some collections and some major collections like the National League, the American League. Maybe we even get Jeter on that day. Diamond, ooh. See, I wish that wasn't a uniform. If that was Diamond Equipment, it would have been a little bit better. But I guess we hit something, right? Looks like no diamonds right now. We got eight more to go with these show packs. Are we doing with show packs? I think our last pack that we pulled the diamond was a balling pack. So I think the show packs, 
we are due maybe hopefully <laughs> you know i guess we can see see now we're starting to get these gold uniforms i knew i knew they were coming i knew they were coming but those every time we pull those 500 stubs you know you just got to go through your inventory and uh clear those out but those stubs also add up very very quickly all these equipment stuff do so nothing in that we got two more with the show packs let me see if we get something good universal icon another 500 you know we'll take that right there last show pack for us anything good another uniform we get a ton of those another gold we got a lot of golds you know i'm not i'm not really disappointed i think just with the golds we sell everything off we sell all these commons sell these bronze probably made 15k 15k maybe we'll have to see but let's see let's go on to we might as well just all open up the ball and as a habit you know let's see if we hit another diamond from one of these we start off with a gold and not good <laughs> Not good. Let's see. No diamond right there. Gonsolin. All right. Moving on to the last two. No diamond again. Peralta. Last ball in as a habit pack for us. And it's another gold. Adley Rutschman. So a lot of golds today. You know, I guess I guess that's good. I guess that's not. But with these BR packs right here, you know, we're going to get all four of these guys. So it doesn't really matter. Now, I really don't know what to do with these cards because they are core series and i really don't know if there's going to be a core collection you know now with the set one collections pretty much you're collecting all those but i'm trying to think if they do the same thing with a core collection in the future if that's the case then these are good cards to invest in you know and these cards are pretty cheap right now but without knowing if they're going to do like a core collection at some point where you need world baseball classic cards you need all-star series veteran series and stuff like that i don't have an answer if these are cards you should keep or sell i'm gonna keep them but i don't know if they're like cards we should be investing in and holding on to and getting as many as possible but for like 165 stubs you know they're pretty cheap i don't think it's a risk if you if you wanted to pick like 50 of each up to be honest but that's really up to you guys you know i'm trying to figure out if we will have that core collection or not in the future but yeah without without really knowing with all these set one collections and set two coming out I think next month i really don't know what to do with a core card so again we're just gonna hold on to them you get them pretty much for free when it comes to this br program and i don't know if there are really any ones that we're really excited to like keep as a core card and hold on to but still you know if we ever need them we have them and we're just gonna hold on to them you know i guess if you really want to you can sell them make some extra stubs but i just don't really see a point to doing that to be honest you know so we're just gonna hold on to everything that we end up getting here we got no dupes so that's nice the diamond ones i would say mj melendez you know i think that's a solid catcher right there he's probably the only one i'm like you know i can i can kind of use this card you know i do hope he gets a better card in the future but yeah I, I did like using that card in br and that's pretty much the only other diamond that i had you know while you know pretty much grinding out the br program and stuff like that these other cards, you know, again, they're going for like 7K. If you want, you can keep them if you need those extra stubs. But I probably would hold on to them. So let's see. Next, we got Charisma Packs. Might as well open these ones up. I don't know. We probably still have a few more players that we need. Yeah, so we have Adalis Garcia and Blackburn. I really don't care. I'm not going to use any of these guys. But they do help with the overall set one collection. Now for this pack, we got... Oh, we. Oh no, we don't got them all. But Cedric Mullins or Bichette, I'm going to go with Bichette this time around. You know, we're really close to getting that last one. So I don't really think it matters. And then for the NL East, we have either Reese Hoskins or Acuna. Every time I said I would pick Acuna and then I kind of swayed the last minute. So this time we'll just pick up Acuna right here. So next we got, you know, some of these packs, which we could hit big with. And that could be pretty nice. Now this pack. We have a chance at Edwin Diaz, Kyle Tucker, Manny Machado. We didn't pack anything good in our packs, so it would be nice to get the rare round in this one. Do we get it? Let's see. And we do not. So we were kind of investing in these cards. We did flip them. I think uh, we probably made like three, four K profit each. You know, we had like five of each of them. So they are, they're definitely, they're definitely a good quick flip. That's going for 23 K. 22k right there you got 21 looks like castillo is the best option so yeah 23 so what are you at 23 965 we'll get him we'll list him and that's not bad 23 9 oh he went 
Wait, I should just sell him right there. $23,950. Yeah, why not? $23,950 is not a... Oh, they took it away. <laughs> they took it away. But I think it was $23,965 when I said it. So if that card sells, that's a dub right there. Now we got the boss pack. So technically, we have gotten the boss pack five times. I've sold the reward twice, though. So I could have had all five of these by now just by, you know, getting the, the bonus loop or whatever it's called. But 48k for you, you're going for 46, you're going for 46, you're going for 47, and you're going for 47. So Ricky Henderson was the most expensive. I think I'm honestly going to do the same. Just pick the player and sell them. I think we have enough time left in the, in the XP reward path where we probably will get a few of these. You know, we'll probably still get a couple more of these. And this weekend, actually, there is double XP. So with the double XP... This weekend is the time to grind and pretty much get as many of these bonus spins as you can. And hopefully during the weekend, you might get some more boss packs. If you're at the end, you know, if you're still working towards getting to the end, that's still good. The double XP is really going to help. But yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely just going to take one of these players and I think sell it. 48175 sounds good to me. That's definitely going to help a little bit. Four or eight. <laughs> 48175. Is that what I said? I hope that was right. Our Luis Cas or Diego Castillo sold. So that was a nice 20k. Uh, we got to open up that last pack. What are we doing? So BR Flawless Pack. There's, there's some good rewards right here. You got Greg Vaughn, which he has 98 contact versus righties, 99 versus lefties. Got great power, 117 versus righties, 114 versus lefties, and diamond tier defense, 64 speed. I kind of want to take this card because he's a new legend in the game but i really don't know he's going for 66k you got bob feller who looks really good 125 stamina 106 hit per nine 108 k per nine 72 walk per nine has a 99 fastball 79 12 6 86 slider 81 change up and a 95 sinker i honestly think he's the best choice bob feller is he's going for 71k and then you got eddie matthews prime series card has 109 contact versus ready's 94 versus lefties 120 power versus righties, 111 versus lefties with 113 clutch, gold tier defense, 73. I don't even I don't even know where that 73 came from, to be honest. Uh, 58 speed, and uh, he's going for 68k. So I think I'm gonna keep these cards. You know, the one that I pick. And again, like Greg Vaughn is an interesting option, but I think Bob Feller is better overall. So with that said, I think I'm gonna go with Bob Feller. He's gonna be another 99 added to our rotation. And again, we're going to hold on to this card and keep it. I think, I think that's a good choice right there. So really quick, let's take a look at our best overall squad now. Now that we have grinded the BR program and all that stuff. So we got to generate that. Generate best squad. And it doesn't even have to be season one squad. Just generate best squad. So I guess offensively, nothing really changed. But the pitching changed. We got 399s now in Bob Feller, Bob Gibson, and you Darvish. I also thought about selling you Darvish, to be honest. You know, that's 67K, which is not bad. And we definitely can use that stubs for other collections if we really want to. But we did sell Edwin Diaz, like I said. And this is pretty much what our bullpen is looking like. So overall, I think team progression and the team progress is looking pretty nice. And yeah, you know, that's pretty much what we got. I think this week... We'll work on finishing up a team affinity mini season probably play like five games a day just to kind of pace it a little bit unless i really have nothing else to do which most of the time i don't but that's gonna do it for this one let me know what you guys have been working on what cards you have been unlocking and if you guys packed anything good but until the next one thank you guys for watching and i'm out